from the arts and villa mine Messina, South Africa. Now, over and above the Ajoites and the Papagawites, um, another what fascinates me most about this locality is this exquisite formation of the quartzes. This is almost what we call the slither, uh, a thin, elongated, crystalline structure. Crystalline, let's first of all show you here, crystalline right around here, going right across, right around here. All crystalline, crystalline right across this face, going into those terminations, crystalline right across here as well, and then a point of contact over here. But often these are floaters, so it would stand like this. Now what I'm going to do, just for the for the sake of color, if you see some uh, 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 blue or turquoise, you'd be looking at Ajuat. I don't see any here. Gray would be hematite as an inclusion, gray and red. And then green, uh, 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 sort of a apple green, would be the likes of epidote going into piemontite included in many of these. Size-wise, not very large, maybe a triple thumbnail, yet quite an exquisite formation, or a lovely example of the pristine, uh, uh, clean Messina quartz from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Of course, mining here ceased many, many moons ago. We don't know if it's going to continue.